Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, today we're checking out a message that answers. Jesus said he is Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Hmm. Guys, sometimes I wonder if I'm a Christian though, because I can say I'm guilty of it. I'm I'm guilty of not reading the Bible, and this is something that. I think most Christians read the Bible, but me personally, I just, I kind of prefer listening to people reading the Bible or me being in church and reading the Bible. But recently, I've come to find out that you, you are taking your personal race to heaven. Like, it's you for you. No one is helping you guys. Like, you are going to heaven by yourself. So, I'm trying my best to, like, Understand and read the Bible. Guys, today I'm going to tell you guys, check out The Case for Christ. Like, this is a movie that tried to transform my mind yesterday. And I think it's a passionate movie. I wanted to do it live on my channel. Guys, tell me, guys, what do you think? Should I do it live? Because I know the movie is not on Netflix, so should I do it live or not? Tell me what to, tell me what to think about this, guys. It's an hour, 50 minutes. Me sitting down an hour. I think 50 or 30 minutes. But then what do you think? Guys, let's go straight into this. Mr. D. Dad, in the book of Re Revelation, Jesus claims that I am the first and the last. And also he said, I am Alpha and Omega, and the beginning and the end. If Christ was not God, how could he make such a claim? The book of Revelation, scholars will tell you, was a dream of John. It was a dream which he has put down on paper. These are what people hear, if at all, that if Jesus appeared to him, to John, and told him, I am Alpha and Omega, if he did, which I do not believe, they're talking about God Almighty, that God is saying, I am Alpha and Omega. I am the first and the last, not Jesus. But suppose you put these words into the mouth of Jesus, according to your translations. Even then, a dream. You know, a people, when they eat a bit too much, it happens you dream dreams, things that you see. And you read this book of Revelation, describing to you certain beasts with eyes outside and eyes inside, and you know, something which absolutely you have eaten too much, you start thinking in those terms. Guys, to be honest, like this is very, very disrespectful. And I, I seriously, right now, like this is disrespectful for you to say some, like it's a revelation. Someone actually dreamed of it. It's like you're saying Prophet Muhammad had a dream and Jesus told him something. And God told him something, then he comes out to say it or to write it down. And you say because you have eaten too much. Like I feel if it's if it was a Christian saying this about the Quran, I will still have I'll still find it offensive because you just can't alter something that has been written for decades, like for years, and say because he dreamed and why uh, I know that there's some prophecies that is written in revelations that actually manifest. So, if you're saying it's a dream, how come it's coming to pass? Like, I don't know, but I find this very offensive, guys. So, I said now, while Jesus walked this earth, we have to now understand that while he walked this earth, in none of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, is the expression ever used, I am God or worship me. On the contrary, he says, my father is greater than I. He says, my father is greater than all. He says, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous because I seek not my own will, but the will of him that sent me. He says, of that day knoweth no man, no, not the angels, nor the son, but the father in heaven. In my knowledge, I'm not like God. In my power, I'm not like God. So all power is given unto me. It is not mine. I, by the finger of God, cast out devils. I, by the Spirit of God, do these things. Where does he say that he is doing the works? That it is his power? Guys, you see, 
one thing I find offensive, and I know all of you, some of you be angry with what I'm saying right now, and because I post the video, I'm sorry, but I feel you're not supposed to say, God said, Jesus said, my father is greater than I am. And God said, my father is the one to be worshipped. And Jesus said, my father is the one to be worshipped. Jesus said, um, I pray to my father. I seek not my will, but the will of my father. And you, you like, I mean, that is accepting all these things. But when Jesus said, I am my father and my father is in me, like, they don't talk about it. And I'm this kind of person that, I'm in for the truth. I don't care which religion is right. Like, I just want the truth. And based on the fact I have little knowledge about Christianity, like, I love when you are saying it, like, you come out plain, like, talk about everything in it, not picking some parts in it that suits your point and leaving the rest. Because we need explanation. And that is why I feel most people in my channel, like, we all are trying to find out the truth. Okay, even if you think you have found the truth, like, there may be a dispute to it. That's just the thing. Me, I can tell you I'm not perfect. And, like, I feel I really need to know more. Like, I just feel I need to know more that I'm doing the right thing. That I'm serving God the right way. And I don't want to gets to a point that maybe I leave this world and God said you didn't search more or you, you were not sure, you, you abandoned me, stuff like that. I want to be sure that I'm doing this for God, like I'm doing this fully with my heart and I'm seeking him with my heart because I know there will come a day that I will have to answer to him and I want to be able to stand before him and say, I knew you, I believed in you, I did your works. And this is something that I feel would give me fulfillment. And for some of you in my channel, or some people that watch my video, just watch it and comment, I'm doing this for views. Like, I'm not. Seriously, I'm not. Guys, let's get back into this. He is doing it nowhere. And Peter testified in the quotation that uh, the doctor gave. Peter in the book of Acts testifies. He says, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you. A man, not God approved among you. A man. He quoted it, but of course, the quotation went off such like water and ducks back. You people hardly apprehended anything. He says, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him. He didn't do it which God did by him in the midst of you, which you also know. I said, look, we agree with that. The Quran testifies to that effect that he gave life to the dead by God's permission. He healed those blind and the lepers by God's permission. We agree with that. But I said, look, now your interpretation, your reading, you are reading into your own scripture something that is not there and which is contrary to what Jesus claimed. He's teaching us his come. I'll teach you how to pray. It's a pray like this. So, oh, our Father which art in heaven. Our Father, yours and mine, including Judas. Not the Father of Jesus Christ in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Singular. Thy name. Thy will be done. Thy, as, as, in, as it is on earth, as it is in heaven. Where does he say I'm God? Where does he say worship me? Nowhere. Nowhere. It is something now, like I just heard on TV, the program of Brother Jimmy Swaggart. Uh, he's giving some lessons on TV and at the end of that lesson on Babylon One of his panel members. He says, you know, I've been to Mongolia. I just been to Mongolia and There is I went to a Buddhist temple and there the supervisor while he was with me I'm asking him that this wheel prayer wheel on which you people are pinning in your prayers in written form and you turn the wheel what for? He says, no, this is now, we are asking in this form, asking Buddha for help. But he said, look, I read so many books on Buddha, nowhere does Buddha claim to be God. Nowhere. This is one of our panel members of Jimmy Swaggart says, no one says that, Jesus, that Buddha is God. He says, nowhere. He says, yes, that is true, but we say he is God. We make him God. 
This is the same. What he is talking, laughing at the Buddhist. I said, my brother, you are in the same boat. You are doing the very same thing. Brothers and sisters, I want you to acknowledge really these two fine champions, two wonderful gentlemen for sharing their valuable time and the energies with us tonight. However you want to acknowledge them. Thank you very much. Guys, I love this video guy. I think I have little to nothing to say because like, I think I've said it all because I'm not trying to support anyone, but for you to counter a full chapter of the Bible by saying he was dreaming is just, I just feel it's not the right thing to say because I can show you proofs that Revelation have actually started manifesting during this period, guys. Right? Some things in Revelation have already manifested, and you say you just dream. I like, what is the coincidence? What's the odd? So, Guys, be sure to like, share, subscribe my channel, and please, guys, check out the case for Christ. Just check the movie out and tell me if you want me to do it live for my channel or not. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.